And welcome back to GB News Live. Let's take you back north of the border to find out what's happening in terms of the race to lead the SNP. Uh, well, it's uh, getting quite exciting because Kate Forbes is bid to take over from Nicola Sturgeon uh, as the next First Minister. Seems to be already in trouble just a day after officially announcing her candidacy. Although she said uh, a little later her campaign for the leadership very much alive. However, a key back is announcing they can no longer support the finance secretary after she said she would have voted against legislation on same-sex unions. Uh, of course, that was passed back in 2014 by uh, Holly Roode. She's one of three confirmed candidates in the contest alongside Humsa Yousaf and Ash Reagan. Well, let's get the views now. John Curtis, professor of politics at the University of Strathclyde. John, thank you for joining us uh, once more. I mean, she has sort of... Uh, apologise if she's caused any pain or hurt by the comments and uh, says the campaign is not over. But clearly we've got, what, at least three senior backers now uh, abandoning her uh, attempt. Yes, the difficulty for Kate Forbes, of course, is that ultimately, although the uh, leadership will be determined by the mass membership of the SNP, obviously it's pretty important that whoever is the leader has the confidence of uh, Holyrood uh, MSPs. And I think Ms Forbes has misjudged the extent to which, although it may well be that her own particular church, the Free Church of Scotland, is still one where uh, there is a degree of disquiet about same-sex relationships and certainly the idea that marriage as a religious ceremony should be confined mm. to heterosexual couples, that... The truth is, during the course of the last 20 years, Scotland, like the United Kingdom as a whole, has seen a radical change in attitudes. And the you know, last time we asked about this in Scotland, which was at around the time of the uh, equal marriage being introduced, already two thirds of people were in favour of equal marriage. And in truth, even amongst those who identified as Christians, a majority said they were in favour of equal marriage. So I think Kate Forbes has perhaps misunderstood the extent to which on this issue, at least, her views and perhaps the views of, of, with whom she practises her faith are in fact now quite markedly out of line of course, in what, of course, is for the most part now a secular society. Yeah, I mean, she's a member of the, the Free Church of Scotland and, and saying that she'd taken that position as a matter uh, of conscience, although she'd added that, um, you know, she uh, believed in everyone's right to, in a pluralistic and tolerant society to live and to love free of harassment and fear. But, uh, you know, has there been a bit of political naivety maybe here? Well, I think perhaps certainly, as I've just suggested, perhaps a failure to appreciate the character of public opinion. I mean, you know, on the other issue, which the most immediate social issue, which of course is controversy inside uh, the SNP and more broadly in Scotland, gender recognition. Yeah. Um, and some polling suggests that SNP voters are also critical um, of the government stance, and even the most recent polling suggested they were divided down the middle. So the fact that Kate Forbes is not very keen on gender recognition does fit in with a wider uh, public uh, sensibility, including that amongst SNP voters. Although SNP voters might still want the Scottish government to challenge the UK government's veto. But on same-sex relationships, attitudes are now very firmly in favour. Uh, and that uh, in that sense, at least, of course, you know, at the end of the day, a first minister isn't just somebody who's running the government. They also have to be somebody who speaks more broadly for Scotland. Yes. And I think some of our MSPs are just simply concerned that these views are now too far apart uh, from those which are now prevalent, but not just in Scotland, but across the UK as a whole. And, 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 and just lastly, John, then the, the intriguing position, of course, that we got Humsa Yousaf uh, having promised to stand by the controversial gender recognition reform bill, which some say did for Nicola Sturgeon, and indeed challenges the Section 35 uh, order from, uh, from Westminster. Yes, I mean, I think in challenging the Section 35 order, Humsa probably has a majority of SNP uh, folk behind him. But on the gender recognition bill, yeah, and that's the area where uh, he is perhaps somewhere away from uh, where many SNP voters at least are at. We know less, of course, about the actual um, activists uh, themselves. Um, but of course, what's also true, I mean, the early polling suggested, although Humza Yusuf was the better known of the two candidates, he actually was also less popular, not only amongst the public in Scotland in general, but also amongst SNP voters in particular. And I think the question now is, will have SNP voters and therefore perhaps SNP activists change their minds about Kate Forbes, even though I would have thought most SNP activists 
would have been aware that she had relatively conservative views uh, on these kinds of subjects, including on same-sex relationships. John, as ever, thank you for bringing your expert analysis to here on uh, GB News. Thanks very much.